Hello everyone, a very very warm welcome to our carol service. A very different looking service this year, as has happened with pretty much everything throughout our year. It's been very different for all of us, very challenging in many ways, but one thing remains the same, and that's God. God doesn't change, he hopes to change us, if, if we let him. And I hope you have found those moments to journey through Advent, that time of expectancy and waiting, all leading up to that celebration of the birth of Jesus. That bringer of light in the darkness, of hope, of joy, of peace. So I hope you enjoy our carol service. So sit back and relax and, and join in that whole nativity story. It really is a wonderful journey. And of course, those amazing carols. So belt out those carols as loud as you like. And we begin with our introduction and bidding prayer. We have come together as the family of God in our Father's presence to celebrate the great festival of Christmas. In this service, we hear and receive the good news of the birth of Christ, and we offer to God our thanksgiving in the joyful singing of carols. As we gather together in the name of Christ, we pray for the world he came to save, for the church, that it may be enabled in our generation to surrender anew to God's holy wisdom and bear the good news of God's love to a needy world, for the world which is already Christ's, that all its peoples may recognise their responsibility for its future and may be inspired by the message of Christmas to work together for the establishment of justice, of freedom and peace everywhere, for all in special need, the sick, the anxious, the lonely, the fearful and the bereaved, that the peace and light of the Christ child may bring hope and healing to all who sit in darkness. We commend all whom we love, or who have asked for our prayers, to the unfailing mercy of our Heavenly Father. And we say together, as Christ himself taught us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. And now we light our Advent candle and first a reminder of the other Advent candles that we've already lit. The first candle reminds us of the prophets. The second of John the Baptist. The third of Mary. And this fourth candle is for us as we join with them in the looking for the coming of Christ. So we light that candle now. And in the words of Isaiah, chapter 7. God will give you a sign. A young woman who is pregnant will have a son and will name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. So let's pray. Gracious God, as you came to those who have gone before us, you come to us now in Jesus. Help us to recognise you in those around us and to care for our neighbours as we do for ourselves. Amen. And now, sit back and relax and enjoy. <laughs> 